Two days ago it was snowing. Today it's gonna be 60. What the heck's going on with this weather? So people constantly make fun of me because of my, my coffee choice. And, and here, uh, give me a second, I'll show you why. Can I get a large coffee with eight creams and six sugars in it, please? Thank you. That's it. Thank you. So that's, that's why they pretty much make fun of me, is because I put so much cream and so much sugar in my coffee. So yeah, so I drink coffee with massive amounts of cream and sugar in it, and I like it. I, I can't stand black coffee. I'm not a, a the, the darker, the bitter the coffee, the bitterer the coffee is. It just it doesn't appeal to me. Uh, so I've got to kind of just milk it and sugar it down. But even like Starbucks coffee, I, I have to get like a, a, a grande and put it in a veinte cup, uh, you know, which is basically a medium and a large cup, and, uh, and and then like fill the rest of the cup with half and half just to make it bearable because Starbucks has some bitter coffee it's very bitter very very bitter but yeah I mean that was McDonald's coffee and I still do that I mean it it is a perfected process for many years I have adjusted the amounts of cream and sugar to get it to exactly my liking which is like the dorkiest thing you could say about coffee ever. Just stopped in and picked up my brand new set of glasses. I got a new set of glasses and, uh, and I got contacts too, but the contacts weren't in yet. So let me show you my new glasses. Uh, they're Oakley glasses and I can't see crap because I've got contacts in and I'm wearing glasses. So like my eyes just sort of like woo out there. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Not bad? You guys like them? Let me know. Put something in the comments. Let me know what you think of the glasses. And these are really cool. Check out what they did with this the frame there. It's like a little swoosh or something. I don't know what to call that. All right, so a lot of people always wonder about lighting whenever they're doing uh, video and stuff like that. So what, uh, what I always suggest, if you're starting out, you don't need to go spend thousands of dollars on lights. Uh, all you need is this right here. Those are actually really good, and then I'll tell you what's really, really good uh, to use is these down here. Those little can things. Most of the, the YouTubers start out doing that. What I'm going to do for the next month is I'm going to do a DIY tutorial based off of another tutorial that I saw. on. I, I actually own this set right here, and I'm going to take and I'm going to put barn doors on them. Because these things get really, really hot, and they just project light out everywhere. And what you want to do is you want to be able to direct your light to wherever you need it for your shot. And uh, at the same time, you, you can't clip uh, gels to those. You can't you know, use filters or anything like that with that with, with those just because they're so hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and, uh, and create these barn doors for them so I can actually clamp some gels to them and, and, and direct the light. And I saw a tutorial on exactly how to do it, and it was a really good tutorial. So I'm going to try to recreate that tutorial with my set and show you guys exactly how to, to make, uh, make that work. When I was at Home Depot earlier, I got some new shop lights because these, these right here, the, the ballast had, had gone out on them, so I had to get some new ones. So I got these, and here's my new shop lights. And they're, they're kind of nice, except for this one is brand new, and only this bulb's working. I don't know if you can tell, but this bulb is actually not working. It, it won't work. I don't, I don't know what, what the deal is. So, great, now I've got to take that one back down and take it back in and exchange it. Why can't stuff just work right out of the box like it should, right? You know? I've got to make another trip out to Home Depot. However, what I, what I did is I went ahead and made a, a supply list of everything I need to make the barn doors for these guys. Actually, right here. Here's my, my lights. So, I've got the, all the supply list, and I'm just going to go ahead and get the stuff. And then that way, I can uh, probably Sunday, I might, might do that on New Year's Day. I might uh, build the barn doors, and that'll be my my New Year's New Year's Day thing to do. It sounds like fun. I'm on my way to pick up Addison. I want to I want to see how she reacts. Usually, sometimes she's like you know all huggy and you know excited that, that somebody comes and picks her up, and sometimes she's like. Ah! And then uh, we gotta rush home and make dinner, uh, making hamburgers, homemade hamburgers on the grill, and uh, and we gotta get that done because 
Uh, me and Amy are going and getting massages tonight. Now, I've never had a professional massage before, ever. And whenever Amy, like, would ever try to give me a massage, it, it would always tickle. So I don't know how this is going to be. I don't want to be laying there on the table and just, just, like, start laughing or something. That would just be awkward. It's going to be awkward as it is, so we'll, we'll just see how it goes. It's going to be strange. <laughs> I see you. All right, so I went and had my first ever massage, and and I gotta say it wasn't that bad. It was it was actually kind of interesting. It it was um, I wasn't as ticklish as I thought I would be, and and uh, I mean yeah, it, it was it it was it was good. It was it was very good. Um, I, I'm not as relaxed as I thought I would be either. I mean I I don't not I, I thought it would be like more rough, you know, like. <laughs> Like trying to get knots out or something like that, but it was it wasn't anything like that. It was it was very. I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Um, yeah, it was good. It was good. That that's the word I'm looking for, I guess. So uh, Addison, Amy, are in bed. I'm on my way to the grocery store. We got a big list of groceries. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve, um, and, w and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stay home. We're gonna stay home. Hang out and just just have fun as a family. Play some games, cook some food. Uh, we're not going anywhere. We're not going to go out and do the hubbub. We usually go to somebody's house. We're not doing that this year. We're staying home and and enjoying each other's company. God, we are so freaking boring sometimes, aren't we? All right, so I just got done at the grocery store and let's talk about irresponsible parenting. As I was walking out, there was a couple with their probably I would say four or five year old son walking into the grocery store. Now, there's you're nothing wrong with that, right? Except for the fact that it's almost midnight, and, and that just that that bothers me. That, that somebody would be dragging their kid out in the rain at midnight to go grocery shopping. Some people just I I don't understand how they couldn't comprehend common sense like that. It just bothers me. So there's my rant for the week. Anyway, guys, on my way home, put groceries away. And I just got done shopping, got a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna do some ribs. So I'm gonna show you guys my rib recipe on Sunday, which you'll see that Monday. But I won't talk to you between now and New Year's, so uh, I guess I'll go ahead and give you my resolutions. Uh, number one is to get myself healthy. Uh, exercise at least twice a week, and, and you know, stretch as much as I can every day to where I can get into some kind of normal regiment every day. Number two, is to uh, get better at making videos, get better at production quality, get better at everything uh, YouTube. And, and I'm really striving to ensure that, you know, I'm doing the five videos a week and, and uh, you know, what, what my new format's gonna be of the, the channel going forward through the start of the year. I really want to focus and, and ensure that, you know, I'm putting out quality, quality stuff for you guys. I want quality. I don't want crap, I want quality. And then my, my third one, and, and this goes back to the massage that I just got today. Uh, I'm going to make sure that at least three times a month I give Amy a good back rub massage. Uh, that way, no, not because I get something out of it, but that way you know that I am, I'm right there for my partner and taking care of her and making sure, especially since she's pregnant, you know, that, that her needs are met and she's got a nice and massaged back. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you guys check out all the links down below in the litter box, Daily Booth, Facebook, Twitter Plus, uh, Twitter Plus, that's that's the new Google Plus slash Twitter com combination, I guess. Uh, Twitter, Google Plus, it, it's all down. You just go down there and look. It's it's all down down there. So check it out. And happy new year to you guys. I, I hope 2012 is as exciting for you guys as it will be for me and my family. And and I look forward to hearing your stories in 2012. So without further ado, I want your resolutions down in the box. I want I want to know what you guys are going to be resolved about. Uh, and I don't even, is that the right way to say it? In 2012. And I, I want, put it down there. What are you waiting for? Get on it. See you next year.